back. This past week, I bowled a 182. <laughs> <laughs> 182. You really do look terrific. What have you been doing? Have you been playing Katie movies lately? Uh, I don't do that anymore. That was a while ago. Uh, I, I was wondering, can I call you sometime? Sure. Oh, it's night. Tonight? I'm here tonight. Wednesday. Why, what's Wednesday? Ash Wednesday, Mr. 
Ryan. You know, the beginning of Lent. Oh, yeah, it's six weeks we get to paint the old Easter egg. Maybe this year a hard boy of mine. You know, you're a very religious person. Thank you. So what are you giving up for Lent? And don't say homework. Nothing. Why not? Because me and Deputy and a few other guys are talking. And Deputy's older brother says that the real purpose of religion is to live in fear. Like when you eat meat on Friday. You go to house, one loves a piece of meatballs, I think that's dumb. I agree. You do? Yes, I do. But I still think that not eating meat on Friday is a good idea. It's a way of reminding ourselves that we're Catholic. A small inconvenience that reminds us who and what we are. Well, you know what else Deputy's older brother says? Just exactly what does Deputy's older brother believe about God? Nothing. In other words, He's an atheist? Oh, yes, a very devout one. You still kind of answered my question. Are you going to mass on Wednesday? Oh, nah, I don't need ashes on my head to remind me that I'm going to die. And besides, speaking of mass, who's that guy I saw you with last Saturday? That was Larry. Larry, Larry, you what's the last name? That's none of your business. Well, if you ask me a question like that, I'd answer it. I would never ask anyone a question like that. I'll comment that every time I turn around and see you with some guy that looks like Pat Boone. Look, who I used to be with and what I do when I'm not with you is no concern of yours. Sometimes I think you act like my father. Well, if I was, I won't let you go off those morons. Morons? Look who's talking. Your grades in school are terrible. Perhaps you'd be better off spending more time with your books than spying on me. Wait a minute. I'm going to sit here and listen to that kind of language. Okay, I'm sorry, Miss Fury. You made me with all this holiness stuff. You often think about becoming a nun. I have! You have? Yes, I have! Oh, you have? Thanks, really? Eddie, let's take time to discuss this. I think I better go in. Wait, fine. Okay, if you can't give me a straight answer. Eddie, how is the tough time? We can talk about the other side of each other's souls, but other times. Get on to the point. You have so mature a child! I feel like my father. Good night. Wait, Eddie!
killing me? My older brother would kill me if I didn't come. Now, yeah, that was just Monday. Now, on Tuesday... Stop! Stop! No more! Oh!
You're probably right. Hey, how about this afternoon or tonight? Because we drive in and listen to a movie. Uh, all right, girls, let's go see the Woo! Why don't the brother say that right now? We're a sexual peak. You mean this is as good as it gets? My older brother also says that's why they make us exercise so much. Why is that? So we don't have enough energy to think about sex. Well, they're gonna have to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you girls realize next Friday night's the biggest night of our high school lives? Yeah, my mother says after prom night, everything just goes downhill. Yeah, you know, next Friday night's gonna be the senior prom night, huh? Yeah, and I hear he hasn't talked to her too much. Come on, Ryan. 
What do you say? I don't really like Becky, and I want to hurt her in any way. Meow. Oh, well, um, get up on the road, tell us not to go steady. That's right, play the field. Yeah. So your wild oats, Ryan. I mean, how many more senior proms are you going to get? My older brother had three. <laughs> mad bummer. I'm a mad, mad bummer. When a boy's 18 years old, he's always ready to explode.
the fonts tonight, you know, and I gotta pick up Nancy Wolanski in a few minutes. Oh, but I had a few minutes to spare, so I thought I'd check up on how you were doing. You sure don't look sick to me. That's because I'm not anymore. You <laughs> certainly do look nice in your tux. Thanks. You like the silk lining and the continental cut? I said you look very nice. Can I throw a flower? Well, I, I, you probably expect me to have one, but I left it at home. No, wow. specific reason, but. Uh, well, yeah, but. You do look very nice. Thank you. Wow. It's been a while since I've been in the hospital. Uh, last time was part when I was visiting my uncle Charlie. If he's anything like me, I'm sure he couldn't wait to get out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he died there. Hey! <laughs> and also, my aunt went into mourning by buying a black potty after the insurance money. Hey! Well, it's a good car. You know what I mean. Well, you know, what I noticed, in three weeks we'll be out of school, high school, three weeks. Have you had any idea where you want to go to college? I mean, being in the hospital these past few days, I've had a lot of time to think. About college? About a lot of things. About you and me? Yes. What about us? Eddie, I have decided to enter the convent. Last night when I sat here thinking about it, I realized how much you mean to me. You're the one I always look forward to seeing, and when the phone rings, I always hope it's you. Wait, you're talking about best friends, I'm talking about love. But Eddie, you don't understand. Uh, you know, you just give me one reason why you want to go in, in Vienna. Just one. Eddie, do you love me? Yes. Give me one good reason. I like being with you. You like being with Felix Lindor too? Look, I never put into words how I actually feel about you. I think you're the most perfect person on the whole planet. I see all the other guys, Married with girlfriends and wives, and I think they just have to be the happiest person in the world. But I guess I'm reckoning they have to, or, or else they just end up sad and lonely, and that's all the joy that I want us to spend together. Raising the kids together, watching TV, washing the dishes, Halloween, Christmas, and feel them breathing next to you and wake up with them with their arms around each other and watch them grow old together. Unless they love them like I love you. I do love you, Eddie, just not the way you want me to. Eddie, what do you plan on doing with the rest of your life? Well, I mean, once I get through my fun years, which is now, I I just don't know. You don't have a date with Nancy for the prom tonight, do you? Oh, I did, but she canceled it. But whatever, it's just seeing your phone. I think it's a big deal. Well, don't worry about it. And it's such a perfect night for a dance. Yeah. Thank you so much, sister. 
And, you know, I always used to think about silly things like my permanent record. But, well, you know, I remember your permanent record, Eddie. Did you know there's only one good thing on there? You are the only kid in the history of this school to find his own baby baby. Good day, Mr. Ryan. Good day. Nah, I'll never be that young again. Thank God. Sometimes I reflect on what might have been. If only I know then what I know now. But the rules of the game, they have always been the same. For no wiser than the string of years of wow. Thank God, we will never be that young. 